Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is a uniform video. For those of you who have just joined this channel about a year ago, you probably have no idea what a uniform video is. It's essentially where you wear the same things over and over again every single day. So it's essential to have a repeat item, like something that you wear from one outfit to the next. Because when I first started this out, I don't know, like I think five, six, maybe even seven years ago, I loved watching outfit videos and I loved getting inspired by it. But when I thought about it, I just really didn't like the message I was sending with it because it was just telling people to consume rather than really just purchasing one item, really thinking about a purchase and then repeating it over and over again. So in any case, it's been over a year since um, shooting one of these and the reason why, I have a really good reason. The reason why is because about a year and a half ago I watched this documentary on um, fast fashion. It's called The True Cost. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it. It's on Netflix. It's an amazing documentary. I have a link in the description box down below. But basically it was just talking about the world of fast fashion. And at the time when I was watching it, I just kept seeing hauls on Zara, which is fine. You know, it's, it's fine. Um, I just, but I just kept seeing hauls here and there and it would just make me really angry at the world of fashion like I just couldn't stand watching these videos and every time I saw a video on clothing I just wanted to throw up because I knew that I wasn't leading that great of an example I was shopping at Forever 21 in the past. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into detail about it because it's a really long conversation and it's a long argument as well. So in any case, um, I spent the past year or so just wearing the same items over and over again. If I do purchase something, it's usually um, really well thought out. Like I'll research the designer, where they're made, um, how they're made, and I know I can do better. I know that I shouldn't be buying leather goods. I know I can do better, you know? But yeah, I'm trying. So anyway, if this is your first time watching, I wanna do more of these, just so you can get an idea of how I would go about recycling goods. If I really needed something, then I would do a lot of research on it, go on the internet, find it on eBay, thrift it. I'll buy a lot of secondhand stuff, not only because it saves money, but also because it's like recycling something that someone already had thrown away. And I want to be clear, I want you to know that it, I'm not saying that it's bad or you're a bad person if you shop at these stores or if you wear a new outfit every day. I'm not saying it's bad. Some people love that and I know that not everyone is like me where they can wear the same outfit five days in a row and feel comfortable with that. So if you're not someone who can wear the same, I don't know, jacket two days in a row, then this series probably isn't for you. But if you're comfortable with living like a cartoon character, you might enjoy this. So um, let's get started with this outfit. So it is raining outside. You probably wouldn't know it because I have these stage lights on right now. It is super dark. I'm gonna go out to dinner with Lauren and Hannah, so um, I have my Lindsay Weir jacket on. This is a jacket that I've worn in plenty of videos, but I've had it for a few years now. It's from APC. I think it's like a 10 year old jacket. I call this the Lindsay Weir jacket because in the show Freaks and Geeks, she wears this kind of jacket over and over again. And it's great because there's a boatload of pockets. So you don't have to carry around a purse. The shirt that I'm wearing is a striped shirt from Edith A. Miller. I have a slew of them. I think I have like five or six of them and they're just really comfortable. They're nice cotton. I love striped shirts. I always default to them. So I've been wearing this company for about like four or five years or something like that. I, I love their t-shirts and I hope they're still around. I haven't bought anything new just because I didn't have to. It's not one of those companies where you buy a t-shirt, you wear it like a handful of times and you have to throw it away because it starts pilling. I've had this shirt for at least I don't know, three years. The jeans that I'm wearing are boys Wranglers and I got these off Amazon and they're super comfy. You do have to kind of measure the waist. I wear around a size 26, 27 waist. I'm about 5'5 five five, and this is a size boys 16. I know that the black color does stretch a little bit. I also bought it in the dark blue color which did not stretch at all. So it's kind of tricky. But I would start with, I mean, if you're around my size, start with the size 16 boys and then kind of measure your waist from there. But there's also like, if you do buy it a little bit bigger, there's also little um, tabs on the side where you can actually adjust it to your waist, which I don't really find that effective, but I never really had to use it. So maybe it works. And the boots that I'm wearing are relatively new. I actually thought about this purchase for like months before actually um, biting the bullet and then ordering it. But yeah, these are APC. They're almost like, um, I think they're called the cowboy boots. They're not around anymore. They were like from maybe a year and a half ago, but I got these because they were the perfect Chelsea boot. They're super comfy and 
they're not black. So I've had so many black boots and I just wanted a pair of non-black boots. So that's why I got these and I really like them. I've worn them quite a few times and I still feel like they're not quite broken into yet. So they're almost like docks where you have to wear them for a long period of time and then you'll be comfortable in them. I hope I'm not leaving anything out and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learn something from it. If you guys have any questions for me, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys are new to uniform videos, please let me know how you feel about them. And for those of you who have been following me for a long time, who have been asking for these uniform videos, I sincerely apologize for being so late on them. It's just been kind of tricky. Like after watching that movie, I didn't even watch it all the way through. I only watched the first half of it and I was so damaged by it that I just could not think about fashion, could not think about clothes. I would want to like physically throw up every time I thought about clothes. And then just like recently, maybe like a month ago, I ended up watching the whole thing and yeah, it's really good. It really changed me. So I hope you guys do watch it. But either way, I'll put the trailer down below. You can kind of get the gist of it. So Hopefully that helps you guys out. And I really hope this actually saves you money over time too and like save you stress and decision fatigue as well. Yeah, now I'm just blabbering on about nothing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.